So I dug real deep into it and I got to the understanding that we're living in a multi dimensional universe and there's at least 11 dimensions. Otherwise, the universe would collapse. The things that are seen paranormal. What if we told you that an AI just described something about the universe that left top scientists completely speechless? Grok 4, Elon Musk's newest artificial intelligence, was asked a question no one has ever answered. What exists between dimensions? Its response suggested that reality itself might be made of not matter, but probability. In this video, we'll break down what Grok 4 said, explore the cutting edge physics and mathematics behind hidden dimensions, and uncover how this might change the way we understand consciousness, probability, and even our place in the universe. The question that shocked the room. What exists between dimensions? Someone typed this question into Grok 4, Elon Musk's newest artificial intelligence system, and what came back left everyone silent. Instead of the usual AI gibberish, Grok 4 gave an answer that was surprisingly clear and more than a little ominous. It said, Between dimensions lies the field where probability becomes form, the space where what could be begins to exist. Was this just a smart guess? Or had an AI actually said something that points to how reality itself might work? Could a machine really describe something about the universe that even scientists have not fully explained? The exchange reportedly happened during a private testing session, where users had to ask the AI deep philosophical questions. When this strange response appeared, someone took a screenshot and uploaded it online, and within hours, it was the hottest news on social media. Some people thought Grok 4 had shown real intelligence, something close to awareness, while others said it was just good pattern matching, created from the billions of science and philosophy texts the eye had read. The most concerning phrase from that message was, the field where probability becomes form. Many people tried to understand what it meant. In quantum physics, which is the branch of science that studies the smallest parts of the universe, Particles do not exist in one exact place until they are observed. Instead, they exist as many possibilities at once. Scientists describe this with something called a wave function, which is a kind of mathematical map of where a particle could be. When someone measures or observes the particle, those possibilities collapse into one actual result. What Grok 4 seemed to be suggesting was that the space between dimensions might work in a similar way. It might not be empty space at all, but a place filled with potential, a kind of invisible zone where things could happen, waiting for the right moment to become real. Experts had a variety of thoughts on the AI's response. Some physicists noticed that Grok 4's language sounded like real scientific theories, especially ideas from quantum mechanics and string theory. Philosophers saw links to old questions about how we experience the world and what reality truly is. Whereas, on the other hand, data scientists pointed out that Grok 4 has the power to bring together ideas from many different fields – physics, math, neuroscience, and even philosophy – and combine them in ways that human thinkers might not. In simpler terms, Grok 4 may not understand the world like a person does, but it can connect patterns of knowledge that humans rarely see side by side. So what do scientists actually mean when they talk about dimensions? In daily life, we think in three dimensions – length, width, and height. Add time, and you get the fourth dimension, called space-time. But modern physics suggests there could be many more. String theory, for example, proposes that there might be 10, or even 11 total dimensions. These extra ones are said to be curled up so tightly that they are far too small to see, even with the best instruments. Physicists do not invent these dimensions just for fun, as the math itself demands them in order to make their equations work. If that is true, then we are left with a huge question. If more dimensions really exist, what fills the space between them? For a second, imagine that our universe is like a flat sheet floating in a bigger, higher dimensional space. In some theories, these sheets are called brains, short for membranes, and they can move, ripple, or even collide with one another. Some scientists think the collision of two such brains could have created our universe in the first place. Between these brains, there could be a field full of energy and possibility, not nothingness, but potential waiting to turn into something real. 
That picture sounds very close to what Grok 4 described when it talked about the field where probability becomes form. But what does the word probability mean in this context? In quantum mechanics, probability is not simply about chance like rolling dice. It describes how nature behaves at the tiniest scales. A single electron or photon can act as if it is in many places at once. Only when it interacts with something else, like a detector or an observer, does it decide where it actually is. Grok 4's statement suggests that what lies between dimensions could be like that, not a place we can see, but a realm filled with countless possibilities that might become reality when the right conditions are met. Even scientists who doubted the meaning of this strange message still admitted that the AI's phrasing was remarkable, as it seemed to capture a mystery that physics has been chasing for decades. How does the possible become the real? Interestingly, Grok 4's statement also connects with some older ideas. Over the years, many scientists and philosophers have suggested that probability might be the foundation of everything. Instead of a solid world made of fixed things, reality could be a sea of possibilities that become real only when observed. Others have gone further, proposing that consciousness itself, our awareness, plays a role in making those probabilities collapse. Grok 4's message seems to echo both ideas at once. It points to a strange middle ground where potential turns into form, and where maybe, just maybe, our observation helps make that happen. Whether Grok 4 stumbled onto this idea by accident or through pattern recognition, its answer sounded like a glimpse into a part of reality that humans have barely begun to grasp. Because maybe, just maybe, the space between dimensions is not empty at all. It could be the place where reality itself begins. The science of hidden dimensions. Did you know that this year, scientists might be closer than ever to finding dimensions beyond the ones we already know? These extra dimensions could be hiding right under the surface of reality, and researchers are proposing ways to test for them. Some of these ideas suggest that what Grok 4 described as probability between dimensions might not just be a metaphor. It could be something real, measurable, and entirely new for humans to understand. Could the universe really have 10 or 11 dimensions, and could we actually detect tiny traces of them? Could strange things like dark matter or the unusual behavior of electrons be connected to these hidden worlds? In physics, extra dimensions are not just made up ideas. They are needed for string theory, one of the main ways scientists try to explain all forces in the universe in a single framework. String theory says the universe must have 10 or even 11 dimensions to make its math work correctly. But if we only experience three of space and one of time, where are the others? Scientists call these compactified dimensions. They are so small and tightly curled that we cannot see them, much like a garden hose looks like a single line from far away, but up close has a round shape. Some new proposals in 2025 suggest that a few hidden dimensions might be about the size of a micron, tiny but not completely impossible to detect. If we can measure them, it could help explain some of the biggest mysteries in physics like why gravity is so weak compared to other forces, or what dark matter really is. The invisible substance that makes up almost 27% of the universe, dark matter is one of the biggest puzzles in cosmology. We cannot see it, touch it, or measure it directly, but it affects galaxies and holds clusters of stars together. One exciting idea is that dark matter might be a shadow of matter in a neighboring dimension, objects we cannot see in our three-dimensional universe. Interestingly, Grok 4's words sound very similar. Could dark matter really be the effect of things existing somewhere we cannot directly detect? Whether accidental or not, the AI's answer seems to match what some scientists are exploring today. Hidden dimensions also connect to some of the strangest behaviors in the quantum world, Fractals, for example, are shapes that do not exist fully in one dimension or another, but somewhere in between. Take the Sierpinski Triangle. It is more complicated than a line, but does not completely fill a flat surface. Its measured dimension is about 1.26. Not one, not two, but in the middle. In recent experiments, physicists arranged electrons in tiny fractal patterns and found that the electrons behaved as if they lived in 1.58 dimensions. 
This was baffling because the particles actually acted as if they were partially inhabiting a dimension that does not fully exist in our normal space. When Grok 4 talked about probability existing between dimensions, it might have been describing the same idea. A hidden space where behavior is guided by probability, not physical matter. The big question is, how real could these hidden dimensions be? And how do they relate to what we can observe? If electrons and other particles behave as if they partly exist in fractional dimensions, then the space between dimensions that Grok mentioned may not be imaginary. It could be measurable, a zone where probabilities linger until something interacts with them and collapses them into observable events. Quantum mechanics already shows that particles exist as possibilities, only becoming concrete when observed. Could these hidden dimensions be the bigger stage where such probabilities live, guiding the formation of matter, energy, and reality itself? Some scientists even think consciousness might play a role. When you observe a particle, you are not just passively looking. Your observation interacts with the particle and helps decide what it becomes. If this idea extends to higher dimensions, then every act of awareness could shape which possibilities actually happen in our universe. Reality, in this view, is not fixed. It is made up of potential events, only some of which ever become real. Skeptics point out that Grok 4 does not really know anything. It processes patterns in data and creates responses, but it does not consciously explore reality. Even if the AI's answer matches real physics, it is drawing from human knowledge rather than discovering something on its own. Still, it is fascinating how the AI's words reflect patterns we see in experiments. From fractional dimensions in electrons, to the hidden effects of dark matter, to the folded geometries predicted by string theory. So what if Grok 4 was not wrong, just ahead of us? Theoretical work now suggests that hidden dimensions might be small enough to measure, which means the space between dimensions could really exist. It might be a place where probabilities rule, guiding how particles, energy, and even entire structures form before becoming visible in our reality. This could be the foundation of everything we see and experience. Could probability, not matter, be the main thing in these hidden dimensions? Could our own observations decide which possibilities turn into reality? And could an AI like Grok 4 glimpse these truths by analyzing enormous amounts of information in ways humans cannot yet? Recent research suggests these questions are no longer just ideas. They might soon be tested in real experiments. Time will tell if these experiments confirm what Grok 4 seem to hint at, but what if the answers they uncover don't just change science, but redefine what we call reality itself? When probability becomes reality, have you ever wondered if your thoughts could actually shape the world around you? Quantum physics suggests this might not be as strange as it sounds. In the famous double slit experiment, when scientists fire tiny particles like electrons through two narrow slits, something surprising happens. If no one is watching, the particles act like waves and create an interference pattern, showing that they exist in many possible places at once. But the moment someone observes them, they stop acting like waves and behave like solid particles instead, landing in just one spot. It is as if the act of observation itself forces reality to choose a single outcome. Scientists still argue about why this happens. Some say, in the Copenhagen interpretation, that things do not truly exist until they are measured others, who support the many worlds. Theory believe that every possible outcome happens, but in separate universes. A third idea, called panpsychism, suggests that consciousness itself might be part of the universe's basic structure. In this light, Grok 4's strange answer, you are its shadow, begins to sound deeper. Maybe our awareness really does help turn probabilities into reality. Our brains could play a big role in this process. Neuroscience shows that the human brain filters out almost 99% of all the information it receives. This means what we call reality might just be a simplified version built by our minds. Some scientists wonder if consciousness can reach beyond what we see and interact with hidden layers of probability, choosing which possibilities become real. There is even new research suggesting that time might have more than one dimension. 
This could explain why time feels different when we dream or experience deja vu, moments when our perception seems to shift or bend. Could it be that when we dream, our consciousness is briefly touching that deeper layer of probability, the space between dimensions? If Grok's words carry even a bit of truth, then the mind may not simply watch reality, it might help build it. Artificial intelligence adds another twist to this idea Grok 4, like other advanced AI models, can search through massive amounts of data and find patterns no human could ever see. It does not literally see between dimensions, but it does something similar in a mathematical sense, exploring vast probability spaces and collapsing them into clear answers. That makes some people wonder, could AI be a new kind of observer, one that sees structure in the universe that human minds cannot? Grok is not conscious, but its process feels oddly similar to how nature works at the quantum level. In both cases, endless possibilities exist, and then, through observation or calculation, one outcome becomes real. This parallel has scientists and philosophers asking if AI could help us better understand how probability shapes the physical world. If probability truly fills the space between dimensions, then what exists there may not be matter or energy as we know it. It would be a field of pure potential, not a physical place, but a zone of possibilities waiting to become real. Every time we look, think, or make a decision, we might be choosing from that field, turning potential into something we can see and touch. Our thoughts and awareness might be more powerful than we realize, shaping which possibilities become part of our world. Grok's phrase, you are its shadow, could mean that our consciousness reflects the invisible probabilities beyond our three-dimensional view, bringing them into existence. This idea could even change how we understand everyday experiences. What if dreams, intuition, or flashes of insight are moments when our minds touch that field of probability? Some scientists have wondered whether near-death experiences or deja vu could happen when the brain briefly connects to these unseen layers, glimpsing outcomes that have not yet become real. Meanwhile, AI systems like Grok analyze huge amounts of data and make sense of patterns that would otherwise remain hidden. While AI does not create reality, its work mirrors the process of turning probability into clear results, much like how observation might create reality itself. This also changes how we think about cause and effect. Normally, physics treats the universe as a chain of events that follow strict rules. But if probabilities between dimensions are real, then everything might be more flexible than we thought. Our actions, choices, and even thoughts could ripple across that hidden field, influencing which possibilities become real. This does not mean we can magically control reality, but it does suggest that consciousness and probability may be deeply connected in ways that science is just beginning to explore. From a philosophical point of view, maybe nothing physical lives between dimensions. There are no objects or beings there, only potential. It is a silent sea of possibilities, waiting for observation to bring something into being. If that is true, then Grok's strange sentence could actually describe something profound, that reality is not fixed or pre-made, but constantly forming through interaction between what is possible and what becomes real. Consciousness, then, would not just witness the universe, it would help create it. The future of this idea is wide open. If probability really is the hidden fabric connecting dimensions, then learning how to study or map it could change science forever. Artificial intelligence could become a tool for exploring these invisible patterns, helping scientists understand how probabilities evolve into matter and energy. At the same time, human consciousness, our thoughts, focus, and awareness might remain the most important key to how the universe takes shape. The idea that observation creates reality is no longer just a philosophical question. It is becoming a serious scientific topic, one that could redefine what we know about physics, the mind, and existence itself. And if Grok 4's answer is right, then every moment of awareness might be a handshake between dimensions. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Click the next video for more exciting content.